don't get me wrong. This is a beautiful little, like, flavor, flavor screen. Okay. Yeah. Flavor scream. Flavor scream. Ah, I'm raspberry. But it's missing a certain pizzazz that I can't deny Manoa, Matoto. You know, I, I'm an Elgato person. Yeah. Though. I don't care about Camaro Village. Lent okay. to lent to it, you know, with her with her beautiful singing voice. I think we need to, to I think we need to fix this. All right. Okay. You did always tell me that your father had deep baritones. No. We're going to fight the vampire TJ. Give me the quest, please. Okay, I thought that was her talking. I was going to say, that's probably not what she yes. sounds like. This is it. The time has finally come. The quest to defeat Malzano. Cheech. 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 Now that's a One Piece laugh, if I've ever it heard It is a little one. bit. <laughs> it's a bit Mori, actually. The we absolutely no progress until you arrive now. You've Her given mother's everyone Steve. hope. Your fiery spirit has lit a flame. And now Elgado burns. Burns into the night. What is... So that's obviously lovely. That's cool. But then, yes. we've never seen a Gormagala dog. Oh. Dogs do get the best compared to Palico. Oh! Only a little bit. Oh, that's so good. Wait, that what is... you were saying? Holy mother of what, God. What All right. Were, what were you saying exactly? <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, my God. Yes. Getting scrappy over there. That's so cool. Welcome, then, ladies and gentlemen, to the flagship Malzano. Rathalos, chase the curious. How I'm unusual. Sure nothing bad will happen. Yo, why? In what world is he chasing them? I hate small flying things. <laughs> Oh, oh God, he dead. <gasps> it's just the cloak just taking oh, him. Hi and, there. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, he's just holding them. Oh no, look at them all. He They're just one shot the Rathalos, and then they're just like, "We'll have some blood now, please." Yes, we'll have. Come on, babies, come on, get some, get some slurp slurps. Now that's give it back to me. That's definitely how Malzano talks. Oh. Look at him. From, they're like his own spirit birds. They are like his own spirit birds, but you know, Scarlet Feasty. Oh, those wings. I really kind of want to give him a big chest hug. And that's how Malzano became a moon dragon. Well, I guess our quest is over if he's on the moon. All right, well done. We've saved Elgato. Whoop. All right, where's the, where's the, get on the boat. Come on, let's go. I have missed this great sword. Like, it's not traditionally been Sorry. the best great sword, but like, why are Gormagala weapons so absolutely gnarly? I just like heads on sticks, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. Mass I mean, I also have a head on a stick now, so... Yeah, you do a little bit. I mean, yeah. the stick sort of comes out of the head. Is there a difference between a stick on a head and a head on a stick? Of course there is. It, it's very important to know the difference. Explain it in great detail, Professor Stickhead. Well, yours is actually almost like the entire body coming out of the head, because it's like a, like a little tuxedo. And with that little tuxedo, you can see that's basically an entire body. You essentially have a body on a stick. You're carrying a corpse. I'm carrying a head. I would argue that in the world of body parts on sticks, upgrading to a full body on a stick is superior to merely a cranium on a No, it's not the same. No, you're a crazy person. I'm I'm an aesthetic person. That's the difference. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a crazy... You're a crazy person if you got a body. If you just have a no, head, you you're a connoisseur. Yeah. If you if you take one body part and make an entire weapon around it, then you know it's 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 interesting. It's creative. If you just take a body and stick a stick into it, then you're crazy. <laughs> anyway, so Malzano's in the right. in, in the ruins over there. If we talk about that now instead, I mean, that, that's where I would expect him to be. That, that Less seems like it's flesh mulching, more head head stabbing, flesh munching. Don't munch flesh. We want to munch his flesh. That's how we win. We've right? already had the zombie experience. All right, that was so fourth gen. Okay, now okay. Uh, Oh, can you dragon these? You can't. You don't seem to be able to dragon them. Look, watch and learn. I'm learning that you can't dragon them. Listen to your little shit of a bug. I'm fucking sort it out. You'll fucking squish you against the wall. You'll stop bugs. I'm scared of dragons. I don't want to be a dragon. I'm a bug. 
Hey, a bug dragon would be very cool. And terrifying. Oh, he fights with his curios. Look, they're swarming. Look, you can see a little... Of course he... Oh, maybe maybe they'll be his status. Behold! The flagship of Sunbreak and the ultimate well i mean challenge for i'm glad he got the memo he, all the other monsters seem to have agreed on it the monster union seems to have something against us literally just went behind us listen here guys it'll be really funny if as soon as they arrive i go behind them <laughs> uh -huh, i have trapped you now you cannot escape without fighting me <laughs> which is what you wanted to do anyway i'm so evil Curios suck their blood. <laughs> curios, they suck. How very curious. Okay, sir. Why do you keep putting on that voice whenever hunters arrive? You shut up now. <laughs> you look so furry. Oh, behold, Malzano. Ah, 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 ah. I couldn't resist. <laughs> now then, who dares intrude upon these? Malveno, hello, curio, it's about time we went blow for blow, a blood-sucking foe, no Frankenstein or werewolf to dilute the truth, that I'm the king of the roost, just see the tell into simply hell and the hunter go to waste, I wonder how you both taste, the vampire flagship lord soon to be adored in a beautiful true form, time to you to wish that you've never been born. God, that theme goes hard straight away. My God. Just a little bit. Okay, there's the tail stab. He's such a pretty dragon. Yes. Oh, yes, claw the ground. <laughs> you lovely, lovely boy. Oh, he sends out his curios to carry a like a ball of dragon energy. Oh, why is he so taily? Ooh, ooh, that's cool. I like that. This theme. Yeah, it's quite nice so far. <laughs> so cool! Oh my god! Ow. Okay, he's doing a lot of damage to me, which makes sense. Yeah, he just cleaved the floor. I mean, he is an elf, like, not just a dragon, he's an old <laughs> dragon. Everyone knows old men break rocks. Curios balls! I sort of want to get <laughs> hit by really... them, I want to know what it does. I'm sorry, but Curios balls really, really pushes the serial narrative. It's a, bowl, it's a ball of Curios. The Curio effects sap your life oh, and weaken healing. So there's a new blight, he just, Cotton. He just put like a, a flint on the floor with his with his wing and used it to thrust himself forward. Look, less about dragon thrusting and more about the fact there's a new blight. Okay, well tell me about it then. Okay, it's called blood blight. Okay, is that not just blood? <laughs> is that not? Ah! Oh! Did not expect! Did not expect! You got a bit of dragon going on. Yeah, it's a blight that when you're afflicted by it, you actually have blood. Oh, that's good. I was worried I would be underblooded, so that's good to have more blood. No, now you're no longer an empty bag. What is happening? Um, oh, ho, 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 I love the curios. curios carry the dragon. There we go. I got hit by. Okay. Oh, you bloody they blight! Sap your life and weaken healing. They weaken healing. Recover by attacking the monster. So it is very Gormagolic. Recover by attacking the monster. Basically. Yeah, so it's just slow damage and what? healing reduction until you. Not that his appearance has changed. Beyond how? What did he just teleport? Yeah, he's flipping. He's flipping around a bit. He's getting a little flip. He just teleported. Look at him! He's looking a bit dark and, and evil. <laughs> That's, that, he's got a lot of his own blight, it would seem. He's just got... Oh, he has a moat! Woo. He has a moat! Of course he has a moat. He's not going to not... Oh, God. He's just he slamming with every so part of his body. He's evil and he just, cool. He's so he just, cool. Holy hell! He has no regard for his own safety. He's just smacking with everything. <laughs> Oh, and his fluffy red chest stands Ow. out so much now. And the it reds does. of his wings. I really like it. <laughs> oh, that Whoa, move okay. is so cool. He teleports. He literally He's teleports. He's vampires. How? How does an animal teleport, guy? That's a gr I, don't, I don't know. I wish I knew. If I knew, then I could stop it. Or <laughs> take if it for I myself. knew, then I could also Ow. teleport. And I do like the concept of teleportation. Oh, see, if I could teleport, I'd be really worried that at any point I would accidentally teleport into someone. Well, then you could just teleport out of them. Yeah, but then they would be a splat head on the floor. So how do you like Malzano? Seems pretty cool so far. He's just, like, attacking really quickly and in really strange ways. I ask, like, this isn't also my first time seeing all of his attacks. <laughs> ask me how yeah. I like Malzano. Why do you always get asked? Because you do it. You should ask yourself. All right, me. How do I like Malzano? How do you like Malzano? I didn't expect me to have a different voice. 
Oh, so I got a very close up of a worried Bro, why dog. Why does he teleport? Why does he I teleport? Know! Oh, he's so slam tail snap. He is waiting for the monster to attack. Waiting for the monster to attack. Okay. Stop saying that like I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> You're being sassed by Night Fear Day Marae. That's the one. So, look, when you blood blighted, your right. red health from getting hit slowly drains. Yeah. Yeah. And when you hit him, you heal your red health. Well, also, your regular health goes goes down. Yeah, I think you just have to eliminate red health, and then you get your good. I mean, I'll be real with you. This seems really good, because you can use it to heal if you're damaging enough. Basically, fighting him is a tug of war with health. He drains your health, and you get it back by hitting him, and it's whoever comes out on top. Oh, of I was hoping it would, it would just heal you while you had it, and it was like a set number of hits or something, so that we could get our own version of applying it to ourselves like Magnum Allo's Blight and get to use it in combat as a healing thing. <laughs> oh! What? He is just what? really Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Oh my god! That's, that's, now it's gonna be the middle. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. That's a, oh that's a super god. attack. That was awesome! He doesn't like, he doesn't like slowly build into this, does he? He just sort of goes on, he just goes full tilt from the very beginning and then he goes even more full tilt afterwards. He's so aggressive. He is, he is extremely aggressive. I mean, he just wants to suck our blood, so it makes sense that he would be so aggressively. God, I want him to suck my blood. I want him to suck it hard. Drain me, vampire daddy. I don't know if I'm okay with that. Please be okay with it, sir. Allow me. Why does he have Velstrax moves? He, like, he uses his tail like the Velstrax <laughs> thrust. Why does that amuse you it's, so it's much? It's just so unusual. Then he does a front flip. I'm just so confused about why he uses his body the way that it is. He uses it in very unusual and unconventional ways. He's a very unusual body mover. I'm okay with that. It just confuses me. I'm very low on the whole potions front. Oh, thanks, Melzano. Why? It's real, it's real chivalrous of you. I mean, I guess we are in, you know, Elgato land, but I didn't yeah, expect a vampire to believe in the code. Did you, uh, did you maybe forget to restock before we came here? I'll be honest with you. I have no idea. Footage check! Well... Either I did or I didn't, and we don't know it, but everyone else knows it, so... I'm glad that you did or didn't. Thank you. I'm also glad that I did or admonished that I didn't. Is that Kelby and that goat about to crossbreed? I don't think that's how that... I oh, don't shit, we <laughs> caught them. <laughs> they were onto us! They wanted Kelm... Downs... Calm... Cow... Mounds... Cow mounds? Give me a cow mound! Down... Down bees. Down bee. That doesn't sound right. Gown... Gown bees. Gown, Gown. bees. Gown bees? Gown. Gown. A swarm of yeah. bees wearing luxurious coats. They come for you. Like vampires ourselves, we must descend upon our foe. If you say so. Oh! That was quite fun, cool. Roar! His roar is so good. Yeah, it's also a very good startup animation to it. He, I, honestly, the best color scheme. Like, just ge yeah, like, genuinely. Yeah, it's really good. Like, the white and red and gold is awesome, and then when he goes full black, evil, what? aggressive, You're... savage vampire mode... Why do, you, why do you just, like, have in it, like, an, a non-notice of the of the color pink? This black and red and gold right now... This what do you all... mean a non-notice? He is not pink in any description! No, he's, he, of course, he's black, red, and gold. There's no purple, there's no pink. It's, 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 where, where, are you, where are you coming up with these colors? Look at him right now, Cotton! Yeah, he's in evil mode. That's what makes him more red. That's so mean. You can't just call it evil mode. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's evil mode. See, what I think is happen go on is, you know how there's the two classic representations of the vampire? There's yeah. Mr. Smooth Dracula luring you into his castle with his charm and vid. And then he'll yeah. drain you dry like Pretty Lady. You know, that kind of vampire. What? Do you do Pretty Ladies drain you dry? No, the the, the the dry draining is done by the vampire on, on the, the... That's how the how it goes with the... Oh, oh, with the oh he's just have a health. <laughs> with the charge moosh health, exactly, Cotton. You know Thank how you. it goes. Nice I see turn. you've also lured ladies to your castle in Transylvania. I don't have a castle, but I still try. <laughs> Imagine living next door to vampire. <laughs> to vampire? To Dracula? To vampire. <laughs> I hate living next door to vampire. They're up all night making noise. Anyway. Oh, this seems like an awkward moment for him. Ah, I chopped off his tail spike bit. Oh, I'm I'm using new hammer, so I'm, I'm. Oh, he does not like that. I'm checking out the fact that hammer has a bunch of extra hits now, which oh, is cool. Okay. Okay. All right. That's all good. So you've got, you know, smooth, suave vampire, but then you also yeah. have the classic vampire depiction where they kind of go like blood crazed feral and they get more like animalistic, like man bats and yeah. snarly. And I assume that's what the black and. Like oh! Batman, but not. 
That's what the black and red mode represents. Also, his little wave of dragon carving through the floor like a shark fin is one of the coolest attacks. Yeah, it is very good. He is I, incredibly quick. I love so much that even though it makes precious little sense, they gave him a yeah. classic vampire teleport jaunt. Oh, yeah. I mean, vampires don't normally teleport in my experience, so I don't know why you think that's a classic. Of course it is. They turn into a swarm of bats, dart to a different location, then yeah, reform they, into their thing. They, I mean, they turn into bats. I don't know about the dart. They turn into a bat, and then they turn into not a bat, but he's not doing that. He's literally teleporting. <laughs> Underworld Evolution, the remake. Fearain, why? I wanted to have a, have a werewolf fight a vampire, guys. It's very cool. I wanted to see if there was a turf war. Now they're definitely not going to do that. <gasps> you son of a bitch. Well, you took too long. Oh! <laughs> okay, you can make him do that. That's cool. Do it again. That's okay. so cool. Oh, oh he doesn't need combo, God. too. You can teleport on him. Whoa. whoa. Yes, you can. You can teleport. Oh, punish that bad boy! Ooh. Oh, cool. That's nice. He does so much damage. I don't think you can apply Blood Blight to monsters, but he definitely does a lot of damage with it. Ooh. All right, keep going. What's next in the Punisher? Ah, oh. oh, this. Oh, <laughs> teleport! Right up. I'm still Just riding a them massive too. explosive dragon rock slam. Nice. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I also like all these materials. All right, take flight like the bats of old. I'm just running. But like the bats of young. Like the bats who do not oh. yet know how to fly. It is quite hardcore being a baby bird or bat. Just a little bit. Like at a certain point in your young life, you essentially have to throw yourself off what relatively is like a massive cliff and just hope that your instincts kick in enough to start flapping your arms. I mean, and fair, then lo and behold, you magically saw. Most baby animals do have a pretty rough time, which is why animals tend to be birthed in much larger groups than humans. <laughs> I do like large birthing groups. Like, like, ba like, what's with baby turtles? Why do they, like, put them so far up the beach, and then if they don't... Actually, yeah, that's so funny, isn't it? Fucking baby turtles are like, and now we begin Total Wipeout, Turtle Edition. I'm not a turtle, Malzano! Oh, well, he seems to disagree. I walked into that. Why did I do that? I'm not a turtle! Toidle! I think so how deep. much blood blight we let him drain is correlated to how quickly. Oh, baby! He gets yeah, into would, his super mode, but I don't know. I would for assume sure. so. That would, that would oh, I'm grabbed! I'm him. grabbed! Oh, no! Oh! oh he actually. Oh, yes! I really enjoyed being. I'm, look, I, I'll be honest, I think that just awakened something. I mean, you've been consumed by plenty of things in the past. Yeah, but nothing was quite that vacuous. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Are you saying that you're into vacuums? <laughs> it's really bad, you know, just inside a giant vacuum. <laughs> like, help, please. I don't know how I got in here. <laughs> I really don't want to be into vacuums anymore. Henry ate me. Why has Henry done this? Damn it, Henry. I treated you well, my boy. Damn it, Henry. You were the king. <laughs> Henry, I loved your little... The idea of a Henry vacuum, but it's just got two lines added for angry <laughs> eyes. And then it comes for you. <laughs> I, I just, I, I wanted to, to take notice of the fact that she actually reacts to you hitting her. Wait, really? Can you knock her off the cliff? No, no not like flinches. She just yells at you. Wait, what? Hit her. I don't think she's saying it for me for you. Well, she flinched a little you do bit. It. <laughs> oh, oh my god, no! What have you done? How are you gonna... <laughs> That she can teleport? <laughs> oh, look at him. The vampire on his throne. Where he belongs. Glowing, curio covered, and ready to do Eat glorious of battle cereal. once again. Oh! Ah. Oh, baby! I don't care it's about your nice roar. roar. I got strong arms. They make me immune to sound. It's just a really nice roar. It is a really nice roar. It's an incredible theme. It's an incredible roar. It's an incredible body. Ooh. I love this dragon. I don't say this lightly, but I'm going to say it, okay? okay. I would hey, add Henry. Malzano to my Christmas card Aww, list. Oh, that's so nice. I, I don't oh. know if he even Christmas. He seems I more don't of a know if vampires celebrate Christmas or not. 
I'm not, I'm not sure. They seem like they would What's celebrate anti-Christmas. Anti some guy st steals down your chimney and makes off with all your gifts? Do it, Lord it Poofington! Very... Show him! Oh, gosh. That's my boy! We're kind of ruining his aesthetic by breaking his parts. I'll be honest with you. Well, that, that happens with most monsters. They don't generally want to be... Okay, now he's just paralyzed. How do you think that affects his aesthetic? <laughs> I mean, I kind of like it, you know? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't hurt. I love that a random paratoad just... <laughs> Vampire dragon? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gotta show him who's oh, boss. No. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of this. Oh, that did not happen in time. Oh! I like that you just sort of were like, Yeah, this is happening. I'm gonna stay here. I tried to strong arm it, but I mistimed it because I've only seen it twice. That's one of those things that I think you should bring out when you're confident, really. I'm always confident. When you when you're rightfully confident. I take calculated risk, Cotton. I just happened to fail maths when I was a kid. <laughs> he does. I think the closest Elder Dragon I would compare him to is Velcana of all things. I'm I'm thinking Velstrax. I mean, visually Velcana, but he's got a lot of no, Velstrax. No, he's tail thrusts and the agility and the speed. That's very like how Velcana. He's he literally boosts himself around the pace with thrusters. He attacks with his wing arms like he pokes with them. Yeah, he, but he also he, does a lot of tail spear shenanigans, which is Velcana. -y. That's one, that's one thing. I'm describing a lot of things he does that are part of, like, Velstrax's core identity. The kingdom sends, the kingdom no, sends oh. its regards. I was gonna say come back, but I, I guess I didn't need to. Did Fear Rain just get the... Did, did she just get Yeah, she, get she the, got the one-liner. I got the finishing blow, but she got the one-liner. Fear Rain! She basically did a die! <laughs> but, you know, wordier. Yeah, a lot, a lot longer of a sentence. What a creature. What a monster. What a fight. So purpley pinky. Beautiful. Just what an amazing design. Honestly. Yeah, it's lovely. And I love his wings. In the middle. Yeah, so me much. Well done, Fiorain. You avenged yourself. And got thrown off a cliff. And got thrown off a cliff. Results to be proud of. <laughs> what? Yeah. Thanks so much. Okay, Fiorain. I mean, we just saved Elgato, but that's cool. That's not where we killed him. Fear rain. No, but it's it's we moved the body after. Yeah, we so just we did, did a quick research. drag up the hill. <laughs> It'll look cooler if the corpse is in the eerie vampire temple, guys. Everyone knows that. Don't mind me and my purple skull sword. I'm not affiliated <laughs> with this creature. <laughs> well, it's not related to this creature. Oh. Oh, do oh, they? Do they? Or do they? They're gonna revive him. Let's all just say, or do they, a few times. They're gonna, they're gonna revive him. What? They're gonna reform into a new one. Like vampire bats do. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. They're, they're, they're just having a good time, I guess. Who's in a bush nearby playing eerie music in time with the curio? It was me! Vampire! Violino! Violino. Not Vampiro, vi Violino! They're wait like who's like Fugan's waiting like like sorry like Galleys is waiting for us or or like the bats the bats the curios they're waiting for us you've done it you've freed us from Malzano the Curio Council sends its regards <laughs> well this is very familiar isn't it I like that they're walking along like we're not gonna stop <laughs> no the boat just keeps sailing and they're all like oh <laughs> uh, okay uh, there's a town there guys just keeps going keeps going. We did it, man. We completed Sunbreak. There's definitely nothing else that's going to happen I'm now. I'm sure that hole is fine. That's a fine hole. Malzano is no more. Fiorain, Alia, good work. Thank you. Is it okay to make fun of your, your uh, dad like this? Well, I mean, I'm not doing it, so yes. <laughs> Look at those eyes. They're proud father vampire slaying eyes. <laughs> I bet he's a vampire. That's one of the kingdom's oldest threats and the cause of this whole deal both taken care of at once. But there's still... There are species, man. There's not. There's multiple mouths, and that's not how that works. That's the only one. Like, it's not like we eradicated the entire population down to the last dragon on a global scale, and, and, and they're like, cool, now we've extincted that monster, we're all safe. Yeah, it turns out Gallius has already killed, like, 733 of them, and that was just the last one. It's like, yeah, you can do this one. <laughs> a report on the new ship, if you would. Ooh. The weapons are giving me trouble. They're just too heavy. That much weight slows down the whole thing. It's kind of one or the other, really. Huh. A new ship? The ship being a built, ship being in, the built in the capital? Ooh. At least I thought so. Why didn't she build a new ship? Or the monster threats besides Malzano? No, I mean, yeah, that's true. We're literally them. living Monster Hunter. There's a new thing every 10 minutes. Yeah, that is actually really true. Like, honestly, it's just Tuesday. To the hunting grounds! 
Admiral Dad can hunt! I would enjoy your company on the hunt. Just <laughs> saying that yes. to me. <laughs> you don't get to hunt with Admiral Dad, okay? He's my dad now. Yeah, he doesn't enjoy my company, I understand. I'm very confused and scared. Hey, there we go. Damascus Master Rank. That's kind of nice. kind of swish, kind of swish. That's a lot of skills. Well, I mean, a but of, of course, those pieces have two handicraft. Uh. The main Malzano event. Will there be a new skill? Blood right. Yes, there is a new skill. Ooh. Come on, what's it do? What's it do? Oh, a proportion oh. of damage dealt is conveyed to health when striking a broken monster part. So after you've broken a part, if you keep attacking the yes. same part, you heal. nice. Specific. Nice. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I really like that, and it looks fantastic. It looks insane, and you get attack for why weakness exploit what, yeah, three, a bit of whisperer, full blight resistance, and you get the part breaker to help trigger the blood right early. Yeah. Like this is yeah. a fabulous is a top set. armor set. My word! And it just you know it requires a mantle, so I'm screwed. But you can make it. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I had the better vampire voice, so he chose his winner. Look at that! <laughs> so good! It's so good! It's such a cool looking great so I can't deal! I, it's the Duke's claim or I... Oh! I want it, I need it, I require it! Oh, we've unlocked the next... the next... all the Elder Dragon. Rajang's. Gormagala level up. Gormagala branches uh, out? I mean, I think you just... Dis what? I think you just uh, discovered Shagaru. <laughs> I'm, come on now. Okay, in the hypothetical situation where Shagaru is in, which is yeah. mental on top of base gore, would he get right. his own unique map like he always traditionally done? Or will they actually put Shagaru on, like, the Citadel, which would be awesome to fight a Shagaru in an open map I mean, environment? I'll be real with you. I wouldn't be surprised if he's on a unique map, because we probably need a unique map to fight some other things now that we're at the end of a Master Rank game. Ooh. Both Admiral guys very seem uneasy. So clearly they're both aware of something a lot more a lot more danger problem going on. Yeah, I, I think they made that clear that they were. And, you know, they're building a until... giant weapon ship, which, you know, maybe will come in handy for some reason. Yeah, maybe, who knows? Maybe you're like, who knows why it's such a rush to get that done quickly? We're not under uh, immense amounts of stress or damage or attack or anything like that, of course not. Oh, not at all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is Malzano, the flagship, the Elder Dragon, the Vampire, and the all around awesome. Awesome dragon defeated. Cool. What are your words? Uh, the, the, the bats are cool. <laughs> bats are cool, man. I love bats. All right, bats, bat dragon. Bats are cool. I like bats, man. <laughs> that bat man. Bats man. Very subtly different, bats but it man. is an important difference. This is the copyright free version. <laughs> All right, guys. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. And consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. Until we meet again, a oh, good bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye